Make sure you check the description below to find out how to get entered into my Road to 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We're starting to get really close, and I'm here to tell you we're going to have a big party. When I hit that 1,000 subs, there's going to be at least 25 to 30 prizes up for grabs that night. Also, if you're interested in comic book mystery boxes, find out how to purchase a small town mystery box. Also, how to get a discount code over at Street Level Hero LA so that you can get 10% off your purchase there and also raise some money for a great cause. What is going on, everybody? It is another beautiful day here in the hills of Eastern Kentucky, and I've got a new segment for you this week. We're going to call this Comics on a Budget. So I'm going to set a budget for $25 and I'm going to give you some tips on the books that I think maybe you might want to check out this week. All right, so let's get started. I'm pretty excited to get into this. I'm Jimmy Don Kerr, and this is the Small Town Collectibles YouTube channel. All right, guys, before we get into this video, I want to ask you if you're not already subbed up to the channel, go ahead and do that right now. Hit that subscription button. Turn on that notification bell so that you get notified when I put out new content. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this new series. All right, so the idea behind this series is this. In my real life, as I like to call it, not my YouTube life, um, I work with people with their finances and we work on budgets all the time for them to be able to purchase homes. And, you know, I do the first appearances and key issues list every week. And, I mean, I'm putting, God, 25 books on there. It'd be 100, 150 bucks to buy everything on there if I don't have, you know, like some kind of crazy exclusive variant. And so I started thinking about that. And I was like, you know, it might be a good idea to say, hey, if you're on a budget and you can only pick up a certain number of books, what books should you grab? And so I'm going to attempt to help you with that in this video. So we're going to set our budget at $25, okay? So we're going to take 25 bucks, and then we're going to purchase as many books as we can for that $25. So let's start with the first book that I think you should be picking up, and that is the Ultimate Comics Fallout number 4, the Facsimile Edition. Now this, of course, is the book where we got the first appearance of Miles Morales. Um, that book, as you we all know when Miles hits the MCU is going to get super, super expensive. And you can pick up a facsimile copy this week for the cover price of $3.99. So I think that would be a great, great choice for a couple of reasons. A, it's Miles. He's iconic to this, you know, current generation. B, the book can gain some value over time. Facsimiles gain value all the time. Um, and I think this one definitely would. Um, and see, you know, how often do you have a chance to get a book like this that for a lot of people is out of reach? If you're on a budget, this book is probably out of reach. And you can get a copy of it. So, yeah, Ultimate Fallout 4, the facsimile edition, will be our first pickup in our budget of $25. So that leaves us after a $3.99 purchase price with $21.01 left to spend. What are we grabbing next? All right, for me, I think Dark Ages, number one, the cover A, would be the next book to grab. And again, it kind of goes back to the whole Miles Morales thing. Miles is incredibly popular. Um, you also get a couple of first appearances in here. You get the first appearance of Unmaker and a redesign of Apocalypse and Vision. Uh, also, Miles Morales possesses a hybrid Venom Carnage symbiote. So... You know, you've got Venom coming out right now uh, or soon. You know, Miles is eventually going to hit the MCU. This book could be a really good book to have. I think it'll be a good read. Most of the Miles stories are pretty good. And if I were grabbing books on a budget, this would be a pickup for me. Cover price on this one is $4.49. So let's jump over here to our trusty calculator. We take that away. That leaves us $16.52 yet to spend. So now, book three that we're going to pick up is Almost American number one from Aftershock. Now, the synopsis on this one is based on a true story. Married Russian intelligence operatives attempt to trade secrets to the United States in exchange for a new life, but get caught up in red tape, 
bureaucracy, and turf wars between the FBI and CIA while their past tries to kill them. So I think it's a true story. Um, you know, you've got operatives and, and trading secrets and, and all that. And I think that's going to be a really, really fun read. Um, like, I'm really looking forward to reading that book. But the other reason that I, I think it's a good, solid pickup if you're on a budget is long term, I could see this being a TV show or a movie on Netflix. Um, yeah, I mean, I could see this being a miniseries. Like, you could take this, and a lot of those movies and, and miniseries are based off true stories, and I think this could be a good one. Uh, I really like the way the synopsis reads. So, Almost Americans, number one. Our cover price on that is $4.49. So, we're going to jump back over here to the calculator. We take that away. We still have $12.03. We picked up three pretty solid books so far. So, the next book I think you ought to grab is Batman Fear State Alpha number one. And this is strictly for the read. Um, I don't know that this necessarily has any long-term value or it's going to gain value, but it can't always be about that. Sometimes it's about the story. And the Batman run up to this point had been pretty boring. You had a bunch of new first appearances and things like that, but the actual story itself just moved really, really slow. It was a slow burn. About four or five issues ago, it really started to pick up as they got into this, as the storyline that's heading to Fear State. And that's with the Scarecrow and all that's going on. And it got really good. And so I'm excited to read this when I think this is going to be, the, the story is going to carry over and it'll carry over well into this Batman Fear State Alpha number one. And so I definitely think you ought to grab this one. And the solicitation does read that there is the arrival of a mysterious anti-Oracle and the return of Poison Ivy. So this could be a lot of fun. The cover on this is $4.49. So take that away from our current total. We still have $7.54 to spend. And so that gets us to our last book. And that book is Pirate Queen number one from Bad Idea. Now, you can't just pick up Pirate Queen anywhere, right? You have to purchase it from a store that carries Bad Idea titles, but you can purchase it on Midtown Comics, and the cover price is $7.99. Now, why include this one on our list? Mainly for the spec value. Now, the story is going to be good. Bad Idea stories have all been good, especially the first issues have been great. Um, and the synopsis on this one, it's a four-issue limited series about a pirate on a mission of vengeance after being spared from the gallows due to being pregnant, but witnessing the death of her husband and crew. So, you'll, you'll get to read the first part of a new story, but primarily these books have been incredibly hot on the secondary market, right? So, I think I bought Passive Aggressive. I paid like seven bucks for it, seven, eight dollars for it. I sold it for $65 on eBay. Well, I just up my budget for something new that I want either the coming week or maybe there's a back issue, a key that I'm really wanting to pick up. So Pirate Queen number one gives you the opportunity to potentially do that. Now, of course, there's no guarantee in any of this. You're watching this, you're gonna wanna pick books based off what you think is right and your research. But videos like this, and based on what I've seen and what I've done personally myself, Pirate Queen number one could give you the opportunity to do that. And as they say, let the hobby fund the hobby. So yeah, Pirate Queen number one, that's our last book. Price on that, $7.99. We've overspent 45 cents, okay? But if your budget's $25, $25.45, dollars I think you're picking up five really, really solid books. Now, most comic book stores, or at least my LCS does this, is if you have a pull list there or you're a regular customer, they will give you a 15% discount off of the cover price. So if they do that and there's an extra book and you've got a few extra dollars, there is rumor that there's going to be a retailer in, a retailer thank you book from Stray Dogs, and that is Stray Dogs number one. And it's called Stray Dogs number one thank you. And it's a retailer appreciation variant, and it's going to basically be a book of all the covers from the Stray Dog series. Now, if that book does come out, I couldn't verify that that book was actually coming out this week, but there were just rumors of it. You may want to slide that Stray Dogs in for one of these other titles based on personal preference. 
But if you've got a few extra dollars and it's there, maybe one you want to grab and pick up because it, it's another one that could have some spec value or some secondary market value where you can get a little extra money for another purchase that you might want to have. So that's it, guys. $25. We picked up five books. And if you're lucky enough that your LCS gives you a discount, maybe a sixth book. If you're on a budget, you got to pick and choose what you buy. And I think these are five pretty good choices, um, you know, of books to read, plus some value there that you may be able to get some money out of them long term. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. This is the first one. When you first start these, they're always a little rough. Um, but I, I like the idea of this. And like I said, it just really fits with what I do day to day in my day to day life. Uh, talking to people about money and how to budget to, to be able to buy the things they want. And not everybody has an endless budget to buy every single comic book that comes out every week. So if you're one of those people, I hope this video helps you and helps you make some selections on New Comic Book Day. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. Have a great New Comic Book Day. I hope you're able to grab some of these books and stay within your budget. It's incredibly important that you do that. Don't spend money you don't have. You can't spend money. That's for the mortgage on comic books. I hope this video helps you in some way. And as I always end these things, until next time. <laughs>